It's finally happening. This big brush pile that's been sitting here for months, we're finally able to get it burned. So thankful because this has been a massive thorn in our side for a long, long time. So all this brush will be burned and this back area will be cleaned up again and one happy day. Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. So today is a beautiful day outside. So we're outside trying to get some work done. And for me, that simply means getting some fresh air and vitamin C. So let's uh, sit down and have a chit chat right here on Garden Jen's Journey. like my hairstyle that's called COVID-19 and messed up back do but I don't care right now <laughs> what I care about is I'm actually able to get outside and we're gonna come in and see the chickens and ducklings and see how they've been doing I haven't been out here in about uh, five days really um, my husband's been taking care of all the poultry since I've been laid up with COVID and I've had massive back spasms that sent me to the ER yesterday so let's go check in on our chicken friends. So it looks like all the chickens are happy and healthy and enjoying the sun. In a minute, I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna let the duck ducks out. So I gotta get them water in their pan there uh, so they have water out here and then um, we will let them out. So that's the peep peeps. They're doing pretty good. Um, it's a little cold out here still, but uh, the sun's out. They have a nice place that's nice and dry. And the temp's gonna be getting up soon, so we're gonna go with it. So, like I said, I've been down with COVID for a while. Um, most of it's just been sheer exhaustion. I was only like really sick for three days. And then the rest has been uh, just, Sheer exhaustion. Um, today I'm dealing with a lot of nausea, but I'm not sure if it's the COVID or the tons of amount of medication I'm on for uh, COVID and my back and things. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, but today I'm doing better, I'm at least well enough to get outside, get some fresh air, and uh, I'm not really doing anything as far as chores. I'm just trying to get out 
and uh, get into the sun and just get that uh, healing power of, of nature. And so that's what we're doing. I'm just uh, checking the animals that I haven't been able to check up on and checking the garden that I haven't been able to check on and checking in with you guys, which I haven't been able to check in on for a little while. Um, if you did not know, uh, sorry the sun's kind of glaring right now, um, I actually do have a Instagram account. I'm not sure why my camera's not fun uh, fo focusing very well, so please forgive the camera and its insecurities. Um, but yeah, I do have an in, uh, Instagram account, same name as the channel name, Garden Gen's Journey, um, where I post pictures uh, every day, <laughs> just kind of as a way to keep people up on what's going on. So if you're inst interested in uh, just daily updates or some pictures or things like that, you can check me out over there. Um, and I'll kind of give you guys a daily update of what's going on around here. Um, but yes, yeah, the same old, same old, just taking it easy. Um, uh, I've gotten off easy as far as this COVID thing. I have two friends who are very, very ill. One got home from the hospital. Um, the other is in intensive care, double pneumonia. It's not looking very good for her. Uh, so we're keeping her in prayers. This is actually her second bout in... I want to say three months time, I think. Uh, I'm not, I can't remember when, but she's already had this once and it damaged her lungs and she's got it again. And so she's really, really struggling. Um, so, so yeah, that's what's going on in, in COVID land. And then, like I said, my, uh, came out here the other day, um, the day I uh, posted that, the video about me having COVID, I was actually out here in the garden watering my rose bush and uh, I went to stand up and I had a severe muscle spasm in my back and uh, that severe spasm lasted over 24 hours. Nothing was relieving it. I was doing all sorts of natural remedies. I even started taking some of my, my husband's uh, narcotic painkillers that didn't touch it. Um, so eventually went to the ER the next day, which was yesterday. And they gave me three different painkillers. And finally, finally, I had some relief. Um, this is the first time in three days I've been actually able to walk up straight. Um, I've been walking around like a hunchback and really waddling because um, every step was excruciating. Um, so yeah, so COVID and uh, major back spasm muscle thing. Uh, not exactly a match made in heaven, but uh, we're getting through. We're getting through, and I'm just thankful that today I'm up and around, and I'm able to be outside enjoying this cold but beautiful sunny day, getting some of that fresh air and the vitamin D we so badly need. You need vitamin D, especially if you're uh, uh, dealing with COVID or uh, any type of uh, colds or whatever. Vitamin D, along with your... Uh, vitamin C uh, and zinc, things like that, are what your immune system really needs to uh, boost up its fighting power. So that is the update. Uh, I don't want to keep you guys too long because I can't be out here too long. <laughs> so um, take care everybody. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel so you can keep up on what's going on here on uh, the homestead. I hope to be back to planting soon. I'm still quite a few weeks behind with, with planting, but we'll get there. Um, right now, it's just about getting better um, because if I'm still sick, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so take care, everybody. Until next time, bye-bye.